Hi there. So today I want to show you how you get more out of your DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and using it a bit more blend. Um, basically by live streaming over Wi-Fi to, uh, to the iPhone and then Moblin giving you the ability of first of all using multiple modems, so bonding, link activation. But the other thing that Moblin can do is it can actually go and give you a higher bit rate of streaming than what MIMO does. MIMO has a maximum of 6000 kbps and with Moblin we can far exceed that and get better, better image quality. Let's get into it. Starting Moblin and the first thing we do is we go into RTMP server and we create an RT, RTMP server and I'm gonna call this OP3 done. Stream key, I don't really need a complicated stream key. Make my life easier and we get all the stream done. Okay, we want auto select MIG. And basically what that does, if you change to a scene that is uh, using this RTMP server, it will change the audio to the microphone from the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. The reason you want that is that if you were taking the audio on the iPhone, there, there would be a desynchronization of audio and video and we want to avoid that. So we are using the microphones of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And if you want better audio there, you can use the DJI Mic 2 um, that can be connected to it. So either way, that we go out here, we enable the RTMP server. You can see, um, oh, let's go. Okay, settings go out. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a scene with this. So create scene, click in here, done. Uh, video source, we select the OP3 RTMP server that we uh, just created, go out of scenes, make sure it's enabled, it is, settings. So the next thing we need to do is we will enable personal hotspot on this iPhone so that we can connect to Moblin. Personal hotspot. Um, Wi-Fi password, I've just said to one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We'll enable this. And then my hotspot is called the MIPhone 14 Pro Max. So that's just something to remember. So that's done. We'll go back into Moblin. Okay. And now comes Moblin magic. DJI devices. Create, three, um, SSID, so that's the uh, SSID I was saying, and then the password I had, one, two, four, one, two, three, four, done. And now we need to select the device. Um, I didn't turn my, my Pocket 3 on yet, so if do that next. Okay, select device, and there's my Pocket 3. Um, go and we do that, connect to that. Then we go down here, we select the type server. You could go custom if you wanted to send the RTMP stream to somewhere else, but we want to send it to here. Stream is OP3, that's correct. And then we need to select in here, the 100, that's my cellular network. The 172 IP is my personal hotspot. So that's the one we want. And then you have resolution standard 1080p. But here comes the thing. So in MIMO, if you select HD, you get six megabit. But with Moblin, you can click here and we can go 10 megabit. We can even go more, but 10 is usually good. And the next thing is we can go and we can say auto restart live stream when broken. So if your DJI Osmo Pocket 3 disconnects from Moblin, Moblin will go and restart the RTMP stream automatically. You have to do nothing. We, we want that. And then we say start live stream. Prepare, preparing, preparing to stream. Setting up Wi-Fi. Streaming. OP3 RTMP connected. Great. So, and if you go now 
and you go out here and you can see if I click on OP3 that's the view of my camera. Mob Moblin will take care of this and basically will reconnect if you lose your Wi-Fi connection or you at the RTMP stream ends or whatever or even if the battery dies and you connect the camera to tower once you start the camera up and Moblin sees the camera it will immediately try to reconnect and you get on top of that you get a higher quality RTMP stream as if you had started the stream with DJI MIMO. This is much easier application that MIMO can be a bit cumbersome. Basically Moblin gives you much more control over the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and this also applies to the Action 4 and the Action 3. The Action 5 Pro is currently not supported as there are some issues there but it is being worked on. You can connect it directly manually but not with the DJI device's control. In this way basically you can stream with your DJI Osmo Pocket 3 using Moblin, you get bonding, you get a higher bitrate, much higher quality video feed. It auto reconnects when you lose your connection because the Wi-Fi disconnected or the camera died or something. The second the camera is back, Moblin will try to re-establish the RTMP stream and get your stream back up and running. I hope this helps. If so, leave us a like and uh, I'll see you in another one. Bye.